smile. Your prize is a very special welcome home to your daughter who just returned from a tour of duty in Afghanistan. Everyone, please welcome home Sergeant Ellen Monica.
awesome. Oh, yeah. What is your problem? Sit. 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 Hey. Ever since Second. Really? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Is this all on video? Yes. <laughs> I saw it. Now oh. you know why I called you. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Who all knows? Everybody but Renee knows now. Yeah. She, I just got off the phone with her. And she has no idea he's here. Oh, Daniel. Hey, Steph. Steph. Steph! Stephanie! Hey, we need your help real quick. For one local military family, a nearly year long deployment ended with a trip to school. Take a look at the reunion at Indian Knoll Elementary this afternoon. Dominic and Ryan Judson thought it was just another assembly, but look at there. That's dad. The teachers and principal were in on the surprise. Staff Sergeant Lyle Judson deployed to Djibouti, Africa last June, making for one long separation. Oh, man. They went to church. I usually got a phone call. We Skyped and Facebooked each other and stuff. So. They were off. I got to see him, so it was exciting. So. Very exciting. Judson first reunited with his wife and two-year-old daughter at Hartsfield-Jackson Airport this morning, and then they drove on up to the school, and the boys were pretty much in shock. <laughs> the school in Oak Harbor was part of a top-secret military assignment today. It involved hiding a chief from the military and sneaking him around from classroom to classroom. Combo Force Lindsay Cohen reports by the end of the day, it was mission accomplished. Well, we'll get you in there to see him. It's been two decades since Eric Wynn was last called to the principal's right office. The first door there on the right. This time, though, 
It's by choice. I'm on mission right now. The senior chief in the Navy has spent the better part of 20 years serving overseas and launching his latest top secret mission. I'm being told what to do today, <laughs> which is good. I don't mind that at all. He decided to go back to school. It will be a forever moment, won't it be? We don't have those too often, do we? This is Wynn's son, Elijah, a 13-year-old at Oak Harbor Middle School. 26 of the 29 students in his class come from military families. Get to see him again, a little nervous, you know, and, and he's going to feel a little nervous. So when this family learned Eric would be on last-minute leave from Bahrain... Let's go ahead and do this. ...they decided to surprise not just one student, but all of them. Oh, my God. This may be an eighth-grade language arts class. Hey, buddy. But today they're getting a lesson in love. Surprise. Hey. It's super emotional. Um, it's just very exciting to get to see Eric surprise Elijah like this. You doing okay? Yeah. How's your grades? Good. Elijah Wynn entered school today thinking he'd have class and then a basketball game. Okay. That's all I need. Turns out now his biggest cheerleader will be right there in the stands next to him. Uh, he's my biggest fan um, and uh, I'm his hero and that's what dads are supposed to be. Did I surprise you? Yes. In Oak Harbor, Lindsay Cohen, Como 4 News. Eric Wynn has actually been home since Saturday, but he kept a low profile to keep today's visit a surprise. He's on leave until the 31st when he returns for what will likely be his final tour of duty. <laughs> Get up. Oh, oh my god! Oh, it's so good to see you. Oh, you look wonderful. God, you're handsome. That was so heavy. Oh, oh that's such a big surprise. Where did you get home? Uh, there's it. <laughs> but we had to get everything ready. Oh, I how did you get that? <laughs> we oh, built it. We built it in there. You got even handsome. This is even a handsome kid. Yeah, one he one. brought his own boy. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get out of the box? You want to get back in the box? Uh, <laughs> How you doing, Mike? I'm good. All right, I'm you good. get like.